Insta360 Studio's just been updated. It's had a huge facelift and it's got six new features, but I bet the one feature that you're expecting is still missing. Let's get straight to it and see what's new. There's no denying that the new Studio software looks much more professional. It's less cluttered and is a much slicker looking design. It's got a bigger viewing window. There are less words and numbers scattered around the screen and the icons are clear but discreetly placed. And by default, you're taken straight to the reframe page, which is less confusing for beginners. When you import your footage, the thumbnails at the side are huge and it's much easier to identify your clips. And when you hover over them, it shows a live preview of your footage. And you can quickly scan through the clip simply by moving the mouse cursor and you don't even have to click. The same live preview feature has been applied to the timeline here at the bottom where you can easily and quickly move your cursor across the timeline to scan through your footage. You can now save different projects within the studio software using the new project management feature. This means that you can have several different edit versions of the same clip saved at the same time. At last there is an undo feature and to use this you simply press Ctrl Z and it will undo your last action. And you can redo your action by pressing Ctrl Z and the shift key at the same time. The export page has been optimised and you can now save customised export settings as various presets. Once you've made the adjustments to your export settings, you simply press save here and that will enable you to rename your preset. Next time you go to export, you'll be able to see your presets in the drop down menu on the export page. There is also now an add to queue function on the export page so you can create a queue of clips to export without having to start the export process. And then when you're ready, you can go to your queued clips and click export queue and the software will export everything in your queue. When you insert an SD card into your computer with Insta360 files on it, the software will automatically detect that you've done that. It will then bring up a prompt screen to prompt you to import the files into the software. At the beginning of this year, Insta360 consulted with many Insta360 Studio users, including myself, and I told them exactly what I thought of the software with no holds barred. I told them what I hated and where I thought it needed improving. So when this update came out, I was really looking forward to seeing it. The updated Studio software does look better. It now does look like a more professional software, but looks aren't everything. And I know that many, many, many of the features that you want to use are still missing from the software. And looking through the dozens of comments that you left on the tutorial I made on this software, I can see clearly that the biggest thing that you wanted was the ability to join clips together and that hasn't happened. To learn your way around the new design and the new updates, I'll be putting a video up here soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. My name's Rich, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.